Come Tuesday, about 750 providers in Ohio will begin phase 1B of COVID-19 vaccinations. The rollout is staggered, beginning with those 80 and older, and will drop by five years each week. If you haven't registered yet, you might have a little bit of difficulty. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins is here with some answers. Hi, Monica. Hey, Laura. Yeah, demand is so high. I'm getting reports of websites crashing and phone lines going down. Hang in there, everybody. It might be best to register online in the early morning hours. And for those of you who do not have Internet access or a computer, the United Way is helping out. All you need to do is call their 211 helpline. You'll get to speak to a real person and at the very least be guided to your local health department. But some will actually help you get registered. Uh, we're here to share that information with people and to help them register. If their um, county has a vaccine registry, we're happy to help walk someone through that um, and, and do that for them on the phone. Um, we are available 24 hours a day. Um and we tried to make it easier for you as well. All you need to do is go to one place, WKYC.com. We have a COVID vaccine navigation guide that includes links to registration pages of various providers, including the state's comprehensive list that has links and phone numbers. Our page will continue to evolve and update as more locations come online. And if any vaccine clinics pop up too, we'll let you know. And we made it even easier for you to find it. All you need to do is text vaccine to 216-344-3300 and we will send the link to our guide right to your phone. Laura? We're making it easy, I have to ask, because we have received so many questions about this. Lisa wanted to know if she should register in more than one place for the vaccine. Yeah, honestly, I would say absolutely at this point. If you register at your pharmacy, your health provider, and your health department, supplies come in weekly and they're still limited. So it's good to spread out your options, but please be cognizant to take your name off the list once you've been vaccinated. And also, you register now, but bear in mind, you will not be notified until they've worked through those appropriate age groups on the even though uh, 65 and up is supposed to start by February 8th, depending on where you live, it may be some time before you get that call, Laura. All right, so many questions. Luckily, we have you to get them answered for us. <laughs> Monica, thanks. Doing the best I can.